Around five years ago, scientists revived an extinct virus. In one controversial study, a team of scientists in a laboratory in Alberta, Canada brought back to life the extinct virus horsepox. Horsepox, or HPX, is an orthopox virus that was common before the 20th century but is rare today to the point of being considered extinct. As indicated by its name, horsepox is a horse disease that is not known to affect humans. However, horsepox is a relative of smallpox, which is one of the deadliest diseases in human history, killing about 30% of those infected. Smallpox was successfully eradicated in 1980 thanks to vaccination, but still, this study of resurrecting horsepox has left many biosecurity experts worried about the dangers of reviving extinct viruses. So, how did the scientists recreate horsepox in the first place? The study used DNA fragments of horsepox that researchers ordered through the mail. They stitched together thousands of gene fragments, creating the complete horsepox genome. They then inserted the horsepox genome into cells already infected with a different kind of orthopox virus called vaccinia. And so, the HPX genes were synthesized in the vaccinia virus to create the horsepox virus. This procedure is very much like attempting to insert genes from a woolly mammoth into an elephant because they're closely related to each other. The scientists showed that the revived virus was able to infect cells and reproduce. The study was highly criticized and raised many questions about ethics and how it was fairly easy for scientists to make decisions of global consequence. They argue that scientists taking such risks are also taking the wrong path when trying to demonstrate what our current technology is capable of. Biosecurity experts are also worried about the implications of conducting such research. Controversial studies are usually called dual-use research. This research has the potential to grow and add to the scientific knowledge but can in return be mishandled and have harmful global consequences for public health and safety. Despite the WHO ruling against possessing more than 20% of the smallpox genome and the researchers following all the appropriate regulations, they were still able to reconstruct horsepox. The study was titled Construction of an Infectious Horsepox Virus Vaccine from Chemically Synthesized DNA Fragments. According to the Washington Post, no journal accepted the study for publication. Publishing detailed information about recreating an extinct orthopox virus could increase the risk of others mishandling this information and creating dangerous and deadly viruses like smallpox. The University of Alberta lab where the horsepox construction took place is one of the leading laboratories for orthopox viruses in the world. They were able to safely recreate the virus with the technology and the knowledge they have at hand. Other labs with no previous experience with such technical challenges could attempt to experiment with the information provided by the study and risk putting global health in great danger. Not only that, rogue states, terrorists, and criminals could take advantage of such a study to recreate smallpox, the world's most dangerous orthopox virus. The team behind the research believes that the lab-grown synthetic horsepox could be used to help them develop better vaccines for the now extinct smallpox. However, other scientists disagree saying that the benefits promised by this research are illusory, unneeded, and unlikely, and that they are trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. Do you approve of dual-use research? And do you support the recreation of extinct viruses and pathogens for the sake of advancing scientific knowledge? Share your thoughts in the comment section.